Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Evie Prophet, and today I have uh, just the quickest way to get coins in NHL 15 Hockey Ultimate Team. Right, it's very, very hard to get, to get these coins, and coins don't sell very cheap. So basically, there's tons of ways, tons of ways to get easy, good coins. Um, first way to get the easiest out of all of it is probably pay for it online. You can go to, there's, there's absolutely tons of um coin traders and stuff but they're kind of expensive that's why i don't do it so i just i just generally try to get my own coins and stuff but um yeah so you can always go to the coin traders second thing is what you want to do is you just want to go to the marketplace and then you want to go to the auction house and when you go to the auction house you just want to know like you just go to sell your items and then post new auction and um like search collection or inbox whatever you have like people or players and and basically just go down the line so i did this to my whole club and go got over 100k that's how i was able to do one of the last videos but i got over 100k so um you just take the players that you're not using that are just sitting in your club for no reason unless you're trying to do the um the collections then don't do this but if you are not trying to do collections then you just take the players that you have in your club uh, like Bozak, I can't get rid of him because I got him in a free pack, but you can still just like take the people. See, all the check marks, that means that I have them. But basically, if I'm not using them, then I'll just go ahead and do that, and then I'll quick sell them. I don't want to quick sell any Blackhawks just because they're Blackhawks, and I kind of want to keep them, you know, because uh, they're Blackhawks, and that's my favorite team. So that is one way, and you can always put them out on the trade market if you don't want to quick sell them because sometimes gold rares uh, sell for less on the trade market. Uh, then they do like quick selling So uh, yeah, that's something that you can do another way is a little bit harder Basically what you do is you go to buy and then you go all the way to the 55th minute But that takes so long guys. It takes absolutely so long you go all the way to 55th minute and that's where you find like all the um Like and if you have crates you guys use them. He is one of the like underrated most underrated players in the game most underrated 89 he plays amazing, but um, I just got a little sidetracked but all you do is you go all the way to the let to like the fifty uh this fifty nine minute trades and stuff and you'll find some good deals there. You can buy them and then you can sell them for even more. Um, or you can buy all of one player if there's not many of them on the market and then sell them for quite a bit and people might think that they're good. Um, so yeah, those are some things that you can do. What else you can do is if you open lots of packs, use the packs. You can use all the like all the things that you don't want, like some contracts and stuff. If you're this far into the NHL, uh, there's some contracts and stuff that you don't really need. You can just go ahead and put those up for about like what it's going for, and pretty much all of them sell just because people want those cheap contracts. Maybe you go like 100 or 50 coins cheaper than everyone else, and you get really, really like you like they're all bought within. Like you don't have to relist them at all. At least that's how it works for me. And then also what you do is. If you're like overflowing on contracts and stuff, just go to your item inbox and if you have some in there, just go ahead and delete them. Like, see, we already have him. I can just go like this. Look, he sells for 300 his last price. He quick sells for 306 coins. So you can just do something like that. 200, he's quick sells for 300. Just keep doing things like that, guys, and it works. It actually works. It's absolutely epic. That sold for 250. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead, maybe put it up for 200 because. I don't want to really have to keep relisting it. I don't really care about like that extra 50 coins. Um, so that goes up for 300. So we'll put it like 250. And make sure you're doing everything for an hour because then it'll take forever to sell anyway if they're just like like quick and cheap things. So like that goes for a thousand coins. Probably never gonna use that because it's Nashville Predators, but it goes for a thousand coins. So you can go ahead put it up for like 950 if you don't want if you don't want to have to keep like relisting it and stuff. And then you just list item like that. Uh, like some of these go for a lot, like uh, let's see, the 500, 200, 1,000 just for a position change. Uh, that's assistant captain 450, uh, and it only quick sells for seven. There we go, like a thousand coins, a thousand uh, fifty coins. Like that is so good that like for you never probably gonna use that unless it's your favorite team. Um, then you might as well just get rid of it because it really doesn't matter. Uh. So, like, there it goes. And then these contracts, just sell them for about four, uh, I would say 400 right now. And they pretty much should all sell. Just basically go, like, 50, uh, 50 coins down. And you, they should sell completely. Um, and, like, see, just these players, he sells for 750. He's not really worth putting on the market and having to take up a spot on the market. Like, 
That goes for 70 coins. We could delete it. I already have one. The jersey goes for 400. We can sell that. Um, if we don't want to keep it, that goes for 500. See, like, all these things that are just sitting here and not doing anything for me. Like, let me see right here. That goes for 1,000. So that's something that you can do. So, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Evie. Guys, I forgot to add some tips in here, so I'm just going to quickly, quickly add them right before I end this video. So first thing is, basically just log on to it every single day and you get hot rewards. They NHL will reward you just for going on every day, so if you go on 7 days plus, you'll be getting 1,000 coins a day just for free, just for like clicking on the game. So it's absolutely sick. Um, just play solo. All you do is play solo. Put it to the highest like rank. I think it's Superstar, maybe. You just do something like that, play like an NHL team or something, and then you can just let your controllers sit if you really don't want to play, but you can also play. That's why I have such a bad record. Um, like, as you see, I'm 31, 55, and 9. That's just because I will set my controller down and I'll just let it go. Another thing is play online seasons because guess what? When you get further into your online season, which I'm doing really bad in Division 6 right now, but you, um, as you see, it says holding bonus, promotion bonus, and division title bonus. Every single division that you go up, the more coins you will get. Of course, the uh, it will be harder. You can always do some... Um, uh, you can't see my thing moving for some reason. It's just a weird NHL glitch, but you can always do playoffs. Um, those can always give you some good coins as, as bonus if you win. Um, so, yeah, basically those are the only things uh, that I really want to show you guys. So, uh, yeah, my name is Evie.